last week at the U.S. National Championship. The current stars and a glimpse into the future. Including the brother-sister team and the pair's gold medalist, Danielle and Steve Hartzell. The silver medal pair, Gilko Ina and John Zimmerman. Michael Weiss stood on the top step of the podium for the first time in his career. Right below, newcomers, Timothy Gable and Trippin Zivanovic. Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev earned their first gold medal in ice dancing. And Michelle Kwan won her third U.S. Ladies' Crown. While 13-year-old silver medalist Naomi Narinam brought down the house, along with the bronze medalist Angela Nicodino, a celebration of 1999 skating champions next. Salt Lake City, Utah, the center of the sports world three years from now when the Winter Olympics visit this town and the snow-covered mountains that surround it. Today inside the Delta Center, the nation's finest figure skaters are here for the Chevrolet Skating Spectacular. The medalists from the recent U.S. National Championships take the ice for their special performances. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Terry Gannon. No judges, no scores, just pure entertainment. That's what today is all about. From those who were good enough to stand on the podium at the national championships last week, and at least for a few days, put an Olympic bribery scandal on the back burner. In the process, a new generation has emerged, new faces that can now look into the future and imagine what may take place in this very same building in 2002. And Peggy Fleming, the ladies' championship was all about what that future might hold. Well, Terry, it was a night of magic. A night when we all expected a performance of beauty and passion from Michelle Kwan. Perhaps unfairly, we now expect no less from her. But she is the standard by which we measure all other skaters. And it's not just her skating that has raised our sport. It is Michelle's spirit and her generosity. So, of course, we expected the lovely, eloquent performance she gave us. What we did not expect was to see a 13-year-old who had seriously bonked her head in the short program bring the audience to its feet and our hearts into our throats. Before sat last Saturday night, Naomi Narinam had never been to big nationals, as she called it. But last Saturday, it didn't matter to us or to the judges that this was her debut. She was extraordinary, and she stood on the podium next to the young woman whose ideals, artistry, and sportsmanship have carved a path for what this sport should be. And Dick, I know that you have a perspective on what this Nationals was all about. Well, you know, I've either competed in, witnessed, or commented on every national championship for the last 55 years. And if you don't think that's a rut, uh, I think you're wrong. But there is one thing that has remained constant, and that's quality. It's the quality of skating we remember, not what it cost the skater to get it. We sometimes forget that Michelle Kwan's dominance came at the cost of disastrous falls in 1997, or what Rudy Galindo had to go through in the years before he finally won his national title in 1996. What we don't forget is line and beauty and athletic brilliance and personality and theatrical flair. That's what makes this sport so great. It has all that and much more. And the more you learn about this, sometimes erratic, sometimes dynamic, sometimes even ridiculous, but always wonderful sport, the more you love it. She's a real bundle of energy. She's the lady silver medalist. She's Naomi Nary Nam. She brought down the house, the ladies' free skate. The silver medalist, when the lights come up, she can turn it on. Well, did you notice that edge that she took down the ice? It wasn't just an edge. It was stretched. Her back was up. The leg was out. It was beautiful. Well, that's taking command of the ice. This is a very appropriate choice of music. Little Bitty Pretty One by Huey Lewis hmm. and the News. You look at her back. Nice and stretched. And, and the legs, when they extend, they extend well. Come on, come 
a lot of personality to it. Triple toe loop. <laughs> You see, even that, that death drop into a back sit spin had a wonderful stretch and suspension to it. He just didn't flop it over. Had a nice reach. And look at that split. Now, this is what is called a Russian split. And she has a great stretch and reach to it. Good speed. Wonderful steps. Fluidity of movement. And look at the speed here. She puts so much energy and personality and attention to detail. And this field has been spectacular. <laughs> even, the, even the flip over of the head at the peak of it, you know, added extra zing to it. Well, we're going to have fun watching her over the years. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at, at that her. face. <laughs> she sparkles, doesn't she? She sure does. She said she just wanted time to be frozen when she was on the ice <laughs> during the free skate. She didn't there. want it to end. Can't go to the World Championship. She's too young, and she wants to change those rules, too, she told us. 13-year-old Naomi Narinam. Back to Salt Lake in a moment, but first let's check in with our wide work classmates where she was headed. In about two weeks, I'm going to Salt Lake City, Utah for the national championships, and I'll be a senior lady this year. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. The young teenager, seemingly unfazed all week by all the attention. In fact, she pulled off the toughest triple-triple combination in the ladies' free skate. The smile was always there, and she was always in awe of the gold medalist. Competing against Michelle was really exciting because she's one of my idols, and I always watch her on TV, and, you know, I, I watch her competing in Worlds, and I've watched her competing in Nationals before in the Olympics and everything. So it was exciting for me to um, be on the same practices with her and just to compete against her. Just a year after winning the Junior National Championship, Sarah Hughes will be skating in Helsinki, Finland with the World Championship team. She came in fourth on the senior level. Only 13 years of age. A lot flashier number than what she did in the competition. If you can escape the Billy Idol, the costume better match it. <laughs> you know, she's 13 years old, and all better father is sitting up in the stand saying, where did my little girl go to? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Triple well, Dick, if you're going to really skate the Billy Idol, the leather and the spikes should be out there. So at least he's <laughs> he's safe in terms of that. <laughs> well, you know, the nice thing about Sarah Hughes is that she has got a good combination of everything in this sport. She, her, her physique looks like it will be, make her a wonderful skater. She's athletic, she's musical, she's got timing, she's also got presence on the ice, and she's got a very elegant and gentle kind of quality. And she's a competitor, too. When the pressure's on, she seems to come through. And that's a very important element. But it says in her bio that she's 5'3". She gives the illusion that she's very tall. I think because of her long legs and long arms, it's, uh, it's a nice look.
She's wonderful. She should be very proud of herself. Well, she says she's got two goals in life right now. A perfect 6.0 in skating and a perfect 1,600 on the SAT. 13-year-old Sarah Hughes. Jamie Silverstein and Justin Pekarek, who captured the gold medal here in Salt Lake City. They already had a very long and impressive resume. They are also the 1999 Junior World Champions. So the future of ice dance in the United States is very secure in their hands. of Sting's music. It's very refreshing to see skaters out here with kind of normal clothes on. These aren't costumes. They're just kind of off-the-rack kind of clothes. It's uh, something the audience can really relate to. at the same rink and with the same coach of the senior national champions, Lang and Chernyshev. You know how close they have to work together. She says the strangest thing that's ever happened to her is that her partner skated over her hair and gave her a haircut. by this young couple. The very inventive moves that they did. Beautiful line. The top junior dance team not only in the United States but the world. 15-year-old Jamie Silverstein and 17-year-old Justin Pekarek. Laura Handy and Jay Paul Binnabos. In just their second trip to the Senior National Championships, they won a bronze medal in pairs. Laura Handy and J. Paul Binnabos. They're skating to You're the Boss from Smokey Joe's Cafe.
Pulled it out, Cal. They have an interesting team of coaches and choreographers from Tracy Politis and Ron Ludington, one of the great icons of the world of ice dancing and pair skating. Philip Mills and Natalia Linichuk, the ice dance Olympic champion from 1980, and Nathan Birch, the head of one of the most dramatic uh, ice dance companies, the new ice age company out of Baltimore. You know, they haven't done these kind of numbers very much because they've been concentrating so much on the national program, the competitive program, that it's going to take them a few times to feel at home in these numbers, which are exhibition numbers, and sort of swing as they like to. <laughs> they look like they're having a lot of fun doing this number, mimicking the words and all. Laura Hendy and J. Paul Pinabo. The bronze medalist from the pairs competition here in Salt Lake City. Laura Handy and J. Paul Binabo. In Salt Lake City, she was hoping to medal for the first time. She found herself in sixth place after the short program. Very disappointed. But her free skate was something entirely different. She vaulted all the way to third and captured the bronze medal. Wonderful flow, beautiful edging, very nice positions for her skating. And jumps as well. And she's kind of a pressure skater. Uh, practices have, have not been good uh, at the week of the competition, but she really can pull off a performance. She seems to just light up. She's a very solid skater. And now she's off to her very first world championship. It's an exciting time for her. See, she has a, a marvelous technique. She's an and absolutely beautiful off. jumper. Her positions are first rate. The training that, and the technique that this young lady has, has been through and has developed is extraordinary. 
from San Pedro, California, 18-year-old Angela Nikodino, the bronze medalist in the ladies' championships. Westland, Michigan, arrived at the U.S. championships here in Salt Lake City as the reigning bronze medalist. Their free skate included a lift that they created themselves, aptly named the Heart Attack. And with the reigning champions, Ina and Dungeon, no longer together, the goal this time was the gold medal. The Junior World Champions just two seasons ago, in 1997, had vaulted to the top of American para skating. Hartzell and Hartzell, the new gold medalist. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, pretty much we went from, you know, underdogs to, oh my gosh, national champions. <laughs> and it's just kind of weird how everybody's really taken to us. And <laughs> yeah, at the beginning of the week, there probably wasn't there probably wasn't a few hundred people who knew who we were, and now like everyone knows who we are. We're the national we're the national champions, so that's kind of cool. They are wonderful. They are hardworking, and they are your 1999 national pairs champions, Danielle and Steve Hartzell. The first brother-sister team to win the Pairs gold medal since 1984 when the Carruthers did it right here in Salt Lake City. Danielle and Steve Hartzell. They're skating to Foolish Games by Jewel. So many reminiscences of wonderful brother and sister pair skating teams in the United States from Carol and Peter Kennedy in the late 40s and early 50s, Cindy and Ron Kaufman in the 60s. In the fabulous 60s. <laughs>
They won a junior world title in 1997. This season, they'll have a chance to capture a senior medal in Helsinki. Danielle and Steve Hartzell. Fifteen years ago, the U.S. Nationals came to Salt Lake City. Peter and Kitty Carruthers, inducted into the Hall of Fame last week, captured their fourth and final pairs title that year. Scott Hamilton also won his fourth straight and would go on to claim Olympic gold. Four was a magic number for Judy Blumberg and Michael Siebert. They would win one more the following year. And Rosalind Sumner stood atop the medal stand for the third straight. We're coming back with more of the Chevrolet Skating Spectacular after this message. And a 1999 U.S. Ice Dancing Gold Medalists, Naomi Lang and Peter Chernichev. So we continue now with the Chevrolet Skating Spectacular, Naomi Lang, Peter Chernichev, the U.S. Ice Dancing Champion Skating 2, Celine Dion, and falling into you. wonderfully romantic quality to their skating. They work so well together. And all their transitions in between these moves are so smooth, so confident. a marvelous partner as good a skater as he is he presents her and she becomes the most important element of the dance
enjoyed them a lot. I didn't want their number to stop. <laughs> this the year they emerged as the best in the United States, and they'll go to Helsinki as the reigning U.S. champions, which does carry meaning to the judges in the skating community. Naomi, Naomi Lang and Peter Chernichev.